is a verse I'm going to show you what God is going to do with us. Go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 10, and use the Amplified Translation, the AMPC, and let's look at verse number 17. It says, and the light of Israel shall become a fire, and his holy one a flame, and it will burn and devour the Assyrians thorns and prayers in one day. Remember, the Assyrian is the spiritual description of the Antichrist in the Old Testament. He calls him the Assyrian. And you have to understand the prophetic language when the prophet speaks about what God's going to do to the Assyrian. So on the one hand, you may be reading like, the, okay, it's addressed to the Assyrian king, and you think about the Assyrian empire, but you have to look more deeply at the prophetic word and see whether or not he's just dealing with Assyria of that day or he gives you a clear spiritual connotation that helps you understand the futuristic perspective of that word. Now you look at it again, what it tells you. It says, and the light of Israel shall become a fire and his holy one a flame. What is God telling you? Remember, we are the light of the world. And it's telling you that our light will not just brighten, but it will become a fire. A fire. And then it says, and it will devour the Assyrian thorns and prayers in one day. We're about to consume, destroy those things that the Antichrist spirit has planted around the world. I told you they were doing some works, but we are the fire, and they are the shaft. You know, in the spirit, I saw armies, armies of the Lord. I saw them. And I thought, oh, why, why are they marching? It's because this is the month of March. You know, I thought, why are they marching? And the Lord said, this month is the month of formations. See, formation is an arrangement of people or things to form a unit for a definite purpose. Formations are going on. It is also the act of forming or establishing, establishing something. It is the month of formations. And I'm telling you, in the realm of the spirit, we are having military formations. Things are going on and God is organizing us. No wonder, you know, you're coming from a month of conglutination. So they come together in February and in March they are being organized. Formations. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit.
Lift your hands and pray. Pray in the Holy Ghost right there. Speak in other tongues. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. God has a special plan for you. We are a part of heavenly activities. La cora sanda cabara de que son de cobre de que salamaha. Te grosso ta caris e te qui ma cabara baga sentiki. No razon de govra si pa caraba cassete. Le grosa tora casa taramante qui la maha. Livra dosa to cabara baga sate qui la maha. Tongo zovra sakata ramase de kina maha. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Seke raba 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 de kina maha. No raba kasata kamante ki mokasi. Di karaba konde gela zonto konta sila bakaraba de. Levro sota karaba kasete ki. Liba karaba kasonto kobosi kabadu. Lipa konda kira kase de kine bokosita. Sandara katila brakose te ne bokosita. Kila kabarondo kobrosita. Asha to koborose te kila bakasanda bakadu. Ende kira soura bakasata. Kandele gebora bashata kabare de kibosita. Hallelujah. While we're still in the spirit of prayer, I want to remind you of what the Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians. Chapter 10 from verse 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God. To the pulling down of strongholds. We have God designed and God fabricated weapons with which to pull down strongholds, cast down imaginations. And every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. We have such spiritual weapons that are madly effective. Effective. Such that all the works of darkness in the nations of the world. These works of deception. Doesn't matter what forces are behind them. Doesn't matter that they use the media. The Bible says the lying tongue is only for a short time. The lying tongue cannot be successful. And in the day of the church, where the spirit of truth has been released and poured out upon us, and this spirit of truth is at work throughout the world, the power of deception cannot prevail. Because this is the day of the ministry of the spirit of truth. And we live and function by the spirit of truth. And we are releasing truths into all nations. Truths by the gospel that we preach. Truths. And deception cannot stand against this power of truth. 
the day of deception will come where the whole world will be deceived that day is not today that day is not today the gospel shall have free course in every country because this is the day of grace and this is the day of the church and we insist on it with the power of the Holy Ghost told us be filled with the Spirit and we are filled with the Spirit filled with the Spirit and whatever is born of God overcomes the world and we have overcome the world and this is God's truth that will not be changed it is his truth we have overcome the world we have overcome the world speaking other tongues go ahead and pray in the Holy Ghost pray in the Holy Ghost we are born of God we have overcome the world we have overcome all the works of darkness it says for this purpose the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil their works are paralyzed their works are frustrated the evil works of the World Economic Forum in every nation are paralyzed in the name of the Lord Jesus because they are works of deception. The deception of world leaders is brought to naught in the name of the Lord Jesus. Say Grabalongos Koje Fadila Haragastes Tango Larons Ko Joseph Aliman Cradila Bahas the Deck Lastora Costo Jonsalamahades Pray in the Holy Ghost everywhere. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. La Catarapa Capote Kebalikisi Livra Sota Camante Lebroco City. Declare that the spirit of truth fills your nation, fills your country. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the spirit of truth is poured out upon your country, is poured out upon your city, is poured out upon your states. The spirit of truth. This is the day of the Spirit of Truth. So gradila krosha taramantia. Li karabaka sota karamadi. The truth of God prevails in the name of the Lord Jesus. Shakora sete kila mahadegas. And the people shall not be deceived. Levra de la cosa taka mayendegez. Le paraka basoto comanindi. Jelo conzo de gridila cabando raconta kila mahandes. Asato carabagasita. Rata camaninge le rebondo robogosi carababaye. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Savra de la grossity. Kila manta coramanda kila gradesta. So jasi command he. Thank you, Lord. He tells us in St. John's Gospel, chapter 16, reading from verse number 7. Jesus said these words Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. Look at the next verse. And when he is come, he will reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Yes, the Holy Ghost carries out his work in this day, his work of conviction. Conviction on the nations. Conviction. Conviction. And he will convince them of truth. Hallelujah. Look at that. He says, He'll reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. 
of sin because they believe not on me of righteousness because i go to my father and see me no more of judgment because the prince of this world is judged i have yet many things to say unto you but he cannot bear them now how be it when he the spirit of truth is come Banta kora sete when he the spirit of truth is come he will guide you into all truth hallelujah he will guide you into all truth for he shall not speak of himself but whatsoever he shall hear that shall he speak and he will show you things to come he shall glorify me for he shall receive of mine and shall show it unto you yes and on the day of Pentecost, back in the Bible, in Acts chapter 2, the Bible tells us that the Holy Ghost came in full force to begin his ministry and has been here ever since. Glory be to God. Yes, to guide men into all truths. Lora Sata Kamande Gibboste. Lift your hands toward him. Thank him for his grace. Thank him for his love. Save us from the guest the kiss. Kalarando go prasata kalamantiki. Save us all katila banko shata kalamandiki postiki. 